Greetings, fellow mathematicians, and welcome to the art of integration. This is the first part in an ongoing series where we will take a look at tips and tricks for evaluating integrals that are not standard parts of the calculus sequence. Now, it's been said that differentiation is a skill, but integration is an art. In other words, calculating integrals that will take you more than a lifetime to master. Now, we're gonna start off with two of my favorite tricks in the mathematical handbook, adding zero and multiplying by one. That sounds really simple, but the art is figuring out how to write zero and one. We're gonna solve this integral using both those tricks. Let's get right to the first approach, adding zero. Now, your first thought when trying to evaluate this integral might be to try a u substitution where you choose u as one plus e to the x, but the differential du gives you another factor of e to the x, and we're missing a factor of e to the x there for du. All right, so what we can do is let's be a little smart and try to think ahead I maybe want to try to incorporate and get into that another factor of e to the x, but I can't just put an e to the x. Well, we can add zero, and I'm going to add zero in the numerator. So we're going to think of zero here as e to the x minus e to the x, a quantity minus itself. So we'll write the numerator as one plus e to the x. We're gonna subtract e to the x. And notice this will simplify it considerably. We're gonna have one plus e to the x divided by itself, which will cancel out. So let's split that numerator into two parts, one plus e to the x over your denominator, and then minus e to the x over that denominator. All right, so just take your time. And this simplifies considerably. As we mentioned, we're gonna get this part canceling out to one. So we're gonna have the integral of one. And then the second part, that's where we can now use our initial substitution that we wanted to work. All right, so all that we need to do now is implement our substitution for this one. Let's go ahead and do that over to the side here. So the integral of e to the x divided by one plus e to the x. This is now very straightforward with our substitution, u as one plus e to the x. In fact, you're probably already done. If not, Make sure you rewrite that correctly in terms of u. This will convert to one over u du. And very easy to find that antiderivative natural log of u. And we just need to now back substitute our u, which was one plus e to the x. And that's basically the work for evaluating this integral, but don't forget, we split that into two terms. Your one, that's gonna to integrate to x. So we get our antiderivative, x, and then minus the integral of this term, or that function, which we worked out over here, and that came out to natural log of one plus e to the x. So we get minus natural log of one plus e to the x plus c. And we get our antiderivative with the nicest trick in the mathematical handbook, adding zero. Again, notice e to the x minus e to the x, something minus itself cancels out to zero. Very simple here, but again, the art 
which will take you a while to be able to apply to other problems, is in choosing the quantity minus itself that cancels to zero. All right, with practice, you can develop that, but that's gonna require you going through a lot of integrals, which is the whole point of our series, The Art of Integration. So that takes care of the first trick, adding zero. Let's get to how we can solve this, multiplying by one. For our second approach to this integral, multiplying by one, we're going to again take guidance from an initial substitution. As it turns out, a lot of the tips and tricks that we'll be looking at throughout the art of integration all usually come from a basic substitution or trying to get a basic substitution to work. All right, so let's go ahead and think of what we might try for our substitution. u as one plus e to the x. And in order for that substitution to work, we would need the corresponding du. And that comes out to e to the x dx. But notice we're missing an extra factor of e to the x. So that way we can rewrite this appropriately in terms of u. Now, again, we're going to take guidance from this substitution or trying to get this substitution to work. We're going to multiply by one and the art is choosing one for integrals here. And what we're going to choose, looking at that factor of e to the x in the du, we're gonna choose one as e to the x divided by itself. So let me go ahead and rewrite this, multiplying by one. Where we're thinking of one as e to the x divided by itself. And that is nice because the e to the x in the numerator, that is exactly what we can use for the e to the x that we need in du, the differential. Now we do get another factor of e to the x in the denominator, and we can deal with that by solving our substitution for e to the x. From your Calc 2 course, you're probably or hopefully comfortable with that, manipulating your differential by dividing factors over and hopefully you're also comfortable manipulating your substitution, solving for x or a different quantity within your substitution. So we can do that just by subtracting one, and we'll get u minus one equals e to the x. And with that trick, as well as multiplying by one, this integral will fall into place. Now I'm just gonna rewrite this so that way it's a little bit more obvious how the pieces fall where they should for converting to u. I'm gonna put this e to the x from the denominator in front. And now if we make use of our substitutions, we have e to the x dx, that becomes du. One plus e to the x is u but e to the x is u minus one. So if we convert this to u, or convert from x to u, we have one over now u minus one times u du. All right, now to finish evaluating this integral, that comes down to a straightforward partial fraction decomposition. So let's go, that, go ahead and do that over to the side here. And again, that should be in your working knowledge or toolbox after completing calculus two. So we're going to rewrite this and evaluate that integral. Our function here, the fraction, is one over u minus one times u. There we have two distinct linear factors. We get two partial fractions, a over u minus one, and then b over u. 
Make sure you're comfortable doing partial fraction decomposition where you have a different variable, here u, instead of x. Our goal is to solve for a and b. We're going to eliminate fractions, multiply by that LCD. And for linear factors, we can easily solve for however many coefficients we have by plugging in values for u. And it looks like we'll want to choose u as 0 and u as 1. And we'll just take our time and do that individually. Plug in u as 0. Looks like we get the equation 1 equals the a terms gone. And then we get now a minus 1. So minus b, and we can solve that. And it looks like we're going to get b as negative 1. All right, and if you go ahead and plug in u as 1, now your b term is gone, and we get the simple equation, 1 equals, well, a, since u is 1, and that tells us a is 1. Now we can easily integrate this. We basically have rewritten our function here, the integral of 1 over u minus 1 times u. We've rewritten that in a better form. a is 1, b is negative 1. We have this as now the integral of 1 over u minus 1 minus 1 over u. Again, just plugging in your values for a and b there. And we can easily integrate that. That should integrate to give us two different natural log terms. So it looks like we should get natural log of u minus 1 minus natural log of u. And that is our integral here, which we just evaluated with the partial fraction decomposition. So we have it as ln of u minus 1 minus ln of u plus our integration constant. And now we just have to be careful. We should get the same answer as what we did when we approached this using the trick of adding 0. We just have to make use of our substitutions. So when we back up substitute here, u here is going to become 1 plus e to the x but u minus 1, that'll become e to the x. And if you plug that in here, you can probably recognize natural log with e to the x inside. That's going to cancel out to x. So if we just go ahead and complete that, recognizing that natural log of e to the x cancels to x, we get the same answer, same antiderivative as before. We get it as x minus natural log of 1 plus e to the x. And don't forget your plus c. Us professors love taking off like a thousand points when you forget plus c. All right. So there we have it two of the best tricks in the mathematical handbook for evaluating integrals or just any mathematical problem at all, adding zero and multiplying by one. Again, this is the first of an ongoing series in evaluating integrals. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment below. Also leave comments below if you figure out other ways to evaluate this integral. Let me know. And maybe we'll make another video on different approaches to this problem for future videos in the art of integration. Support the channel, like and subscribe.